お前ごときが使えるほど甘くはない<笑>やったぜケンシロウの飛行をついたはお前はもう死んでいるどうしたやってみせろ何秒後だ just saw was me winning the grand finals of the Pokemon Close Combat Tournament. That's right, when it comes to fighting games, I'm a pretty big deal. I haven't lost a single match yet. Oh, you want a source on that tournament? Oh no, I didn't lose 2-0. Ah, uh, uh, no way. Darn it. All right, fine, I suck, and I was one of the first people to lose. Doesn't mean I'm giving up, though. Made by Battle Capacity, Pokemon Close Combat is, obviously, a Pokemon fighting game. With the main gimmick being that all the Pokemon are fighting types only. And I'll admit, prior to playing this game, I was not the biggest fan of fighting games. You see, when I played Close Combat, something just clicked. And I was determined to be the best Heracross player ever. Go, 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 go. All right, it's time. It's time! <laughs> Piss across! Piss across! Approach me. Nope! 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 Alright, and to finish it off, approach me! The Discord server that hosts this game is honestly a really nice and helpful place, and I'd have to thank cool peeps like V, Cass, Viker, and Tiger for being there to help train me. It's people like this that make getting into new games enjoyable in the first place. Actually, scratch Tiger off that friendly list. Bro plays a nasty Toxicroak, and after like a dozen losses, I finally managed to like get past them and his stupid tricks, and we had like the craziest game. I love you, bro, but oh my god. <laughs> bro said, Let's my game's have it. Bro's like, I want my victory to sink in. <laughs> oh my god. Like, oh as my as god. That... I'm not gonna lie. Around them. <gasps> oh my god, what's the grab? What did that desk picture, bro? Oh my god. I really hope they had taunts to Oh my god, he slammed me twice! <laughs> Oh my god. Get him. Oh my god. Get him. Oh no. You got the HP. The pressure. You got the HP the pressure. advantage this time. You got looped by grabs. Nice. <laughs> the pressure was crazy. I love that. Yeah, that well, don't run now. Don't run now. Come on. We had something. Don't <laughs> run. <laughs> don't run. Don't run. He's scared. Oh. Wow, Toxicroak is weak in the HP department. <laughs> <laughs> Still getting burnt, huh? <laughs> it's the dirty bubble in all his dirty roundness! <laughs> oh, no. Absolutely. It's a few touches uh -oh. and it's over. Uh oh. Hell yeah! You can do it! You can win! Come on. Oh no! Oh, oh no, you fools! Stay back! The point! Ooh. 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 Watch the point! Yeah. The 
shit. Oh, shit! Oh, oh, yes! I did it! I beat him! <laughs> Actually, you know what? While I'm here, let's talk about the unique characters, and then I'll make fun of them. To start, let's look at the wiki for Toxic Rogue. Ah, yes. Toxicroak is one of those keep-away zoner characters that excels in keeping you far away, obviously. With plenty of spacing options, poison that damages opponents over time, and a busted super, this is one frog you don't want to jump at. So, you know what the average match is like? All they do is spam 5B and 1B like there's some sort of brain-dead Spongebob bubble blower, they hit the cha-cha slide in hopes of building meter early, and then when you finally have your opponent in the corner, what do they do? <laughs> this move absolutely sucks. You can't block it or parry it, and to make it worse, you might as well be trapped in there for an eternity. I'm serious. You know what Toxic Oak mains like to do when you're bubbled? They taunt, leave, they go get, like, coffee, walk on the beach, make reservations for dinner, eat a meal, take a nap. Also, Toxicroak has dry skin, so I know y'all got some ashy elbows. And then they come back with enough time to sit there with that stupid grin, sitting back there, and then they just type GG's in chat. Overall, it's another 10 character. They're toxic, they're funny, and I love them. So. そして、お前も同じ運命をたどる。<音声><音声><音声> Next up is Beware. First off, all I can say is, don't let the looks fool you. If you haven't seen what this thing is capable of in Sun and Moon, then you're in for a world of hurt. If you like the thought of being a tanky grappler who likes cornering people into bad decisions with high damage output and some insane bulk, then Beware is for you. These dopey looking unga bunga bray dead charm and ultra soft players, known as beware mains, only know 6B, 3A for pressure, and 6C. I know you guys are grapplers, but please, how about you use that grapple to get a grip on reality and stop bullying me? No! Uh, 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 huh? I don't know the input for the super. Thank god some of the bugs were patched, because in 7A, this was fixed. You scared bear? Come on, build a bear. Oh, that's- Nah, weird. that ain't happening. What the? Uh, I'm- Oh my god! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> I'm actually stuck! Oh, I'm- Oh my god! <laughs> what the heck? Can I hit you out of it? <laughs> if I had this happen to me though in a match or a tournament, I think I'd quit. Overall, I'd rate this a hug out of 10. Last but not least, we have Heracross. She is an absolute unit. A powerhouse, a brick wall, and most importantly, requires patience. Being a charge character that plays a bit more on the defensive side, you're gonna have to play a bit slower. However, some unique traits like her air dash and burst damage can really catch opponents off guard if they block too much, and then they can get surprised with the horns of the face. Oh, you wanted me to say something smart about Heracross? <laughs> well, too bad, idiot, because she's perfect. 
I know I skipped on a fair amount of characters, but to be honest, I'd much rather wait for the game to be complete before going in depth with everyone. So let's talk about the single player content for a brief moment. Going into solo play, you're greeted with training mode, which is pretty self-explanatory. You get to whack around this uh, web effect. Arcade mode is currently not available to play, sadly, and as soon as that's available, I'll be covering that in a future review. The path is this game's campaign or story mode, which is complete. The path is simply a set number of battles that progressively get harder like any other fighting game. What makes it special is, when you beat all the opponents without getting KO'd once, you get access to a special final boss fight, which I will not be spoiling here. Not to mention, every time you beat one of the characters, you get a cool little unique windscreen, which is pretty nice. And well, that pretty much sums it up. Even though this game has a lot of progress to make, in the meantime, there's a thriving community, fun tournaments being held occasionally, and really talented people building a game that deserves all the praise it gets. All I'm trying to say is, this game is just pure hype. If you can look past some of the bugs and jank, what you get here is a very promising game, and just honestly, good fun that I just haven't had in a while. As always, thanks for watching, and if you want to play the game, I'll leave links below for you. Hey, maybe we can play it on stream sometime. And remember, stay foxy. Unaji Unmeo Tadoru.